This should be a nice short video. It's all about the definition of relative atomic mass and what that statement means. As normal, we'll start with the definition. So, relative atomic mass is the average mass of an atom compared to one twelfth of the mass of carbon-12. Now, there's lots of things in that that are a little bit complicated, so let's break down that definition so that we really understand what it means. So, the first thing is, what does average mass mean, and why do we need an average mass rather than just the mass? Hopefully, you'll remember learning about isotopes, and normally the example that's used for isotopes is chlorine. So, we've got chlorine-35 and chlorine-37. If I look at how many protons they've got, that means they've got the same number of protons because they're the same element. The electrons must be the same as the protons because they're a neutral atom. And the neutrons, if we look at those, are different in each case, which means that these are isotopes of each other. They are two different forms of chlorine. They're both chlorine, they're just slightly different ones. So, when we take the average mass, you'd expect that to be 36, right? The average of 35 and 37 is 36. But, if we have a look at the periodic table, which is where we find the relative atomic masses, you can see on the key here, it shows relative atomic mass. And then you've got carbon, which is 12, and you've got hydrogen, which is 1. Um, if we look at chlorine on the right-hand side, you will find that the relative atomic mass is 35.5. Now, the reason for that is that actually it's not just an average, it's a weighted average. The weighted average is based on how common something is. So the reason that it's closer to 35 than it is to 37 is that the 35 isotope is more common or more abundant. In fact, 35 is 75% common, whereas the chlorine 37 is only 25% common. In some syllabuses, people learn about how to work these out from the different isotopes, but it doesn't exist in ours. If you want to look this up, then by all means Google how to find this question you might have is why do we choose carbon-12 to compare everything to? Now, it's really important that we have a standard to actually compare all the rest of the elements to, but which one is less important? And actually, if you look back at the history of this, you'll find that chemists and physicists use different elements over the course of history. Eventually, they settled on carbon to kind of keep everybody happy. There's no real reason why carbon was chosen, perhaps because it bonds to pretty much anything, perhaps because it exists so commonly in our world around us, but in reality, there's no real reason for why it's carbon, but we need something to compare it to. Okay, so that's all for this video, all about how to define relative atomic mass. The definition at the front of this video is really the thing you need for your exams, um, but ideally you should understand what it means too.